Have you ever just sat back and wondered about a place where the echoes of a historic rebellion still reverberate through everyday existence? Well, we have found that place. Welcome to Pitcairn Island, a remote gem in the vast Pacific Ocean, spinning a gripping tale of mutiny, daring escapes, and sheer survival. This pint-sized paradise, boasting the title of the world's most sparsely populated jurisdiction, holds a narrative that rivals the most riveting high seas adventure novels. But how did this far-flung island transform into a sanctuary for sailors and Tahitian women? Let's plunge into its spellbinding past. But before we begin, if you are interested in anything history and travel related, please consider giving our channel Factoid Factory a subscribe. Your support helps us to continue to bring you more fascinating content. The birth of a distinctive society, Pitcairn Island, a name evoking visions of rugged cliffs and sapphire seas, is not merely a geographical marvel. It's a pulsating tribute to one of maritime history's most sensational chapters. Its tale intertwines with the legendary mutiny aboard the HMS Bounty, a saga that has captivated imaginations across generations. In 1787, the HMS Bounty, also known as HM Armed Vessel Bounty, embarked from England under the authority of Captain William Bly, tasked with ferrying breadfruit plants from Tahiti to the West Indies. The aim, to furnish a low-cost, sustainable food supply for slaves toiling on sugar plantations. However, this expedition took an unforeseen detour, laying the groundwork for the extraordinary society that would blossom on Pitcairn Island. Following a 10-month voyage, the bounty dropped anchor in Tahiti in 1788. The crew, worn out by the lengthy sea journeys, found Tahiti to be an oasis of serenity. The island's enchanting allure, coupled with the warm embrace of its people, stood in stark contrast to the stern discipline and harsh conditions aboard the ship. For five blissful months, the crew mingled with the Tahitians, forming bonds and immersing themselves in the local ways of life. Some even formed love with Tahitian partners, weaving themselves deeply into the fabric of island existence. Nevertheless, the tranquil stay in Tahiti created dissatisfaction among the crew, particularly directed towards Captain William Bly, whose leadership style was deemed excessively harsh. The simmering tension reached its boiling point on April 28, 1789, when Fletcher Christian, the master's mate, orchestrated a mutiny against Bly. In a dramatic twist of fate, Bly and 18 loyalists were cast adrift in a small boat, while Christian and his band of mutineers seized control of the bounty. Now branded as fugitives, the mutineers knew that returning to Tahiti would lead to their inevitable capture by the British Navy. In their quest for freedom, they stumbled upon Pitcairn Island, an untamed and virtually uncharted expanse in the South Pacific. On January 23, 1790, the bounty found anchorage off Pitcairn's shores. The island offered precisely what the mutineers craved, seclusion and the prospect of a fresh start. The mutineers, accompanied by six Tahitian men, 11 Tahitian women and an infant girl, established their haven on the island. To maintain their secretive existence, they set the bounty on fire, severing their final connection to the outside realm. Life on Pitcairn proved to be no paradise. The tiny community grappled with the challenges of acclimatizing to their new habitat, mastering the art of cultivation and subsistence fishing. However, the initial years bore witness to difficulties and sorrow. Cultural misunderstandings and rivalries for the affections of the Tahitian women ignited conflicts, culminating in a series of violent encounters. I will not be mentioning what these encounters were, however, if any of you are interested in what had happened at the time, just search Pitcairn 1793 and you will find all you need to know. By 1808, when an American whaling vessel rediscovered the island, only one mutineer, John Adams, remained alive, along with nine Tahitian women and their offspring. Recognizing his duty to the community, 
Adams embarked on a profound personal journey. Armed with the Bounty's Bible, he undertook the task of educating both himself and the island's youth, laying the cornerstone for a remarkable fusion of Polynesian and European cultures that would come to define Pitcairn society. Over the following decades, Pitcairn Island's community flourished, navigating the tides of isolation with resilience. A distinctive culture shaped by European lineage and Polynesian roots blossomed. The Pitcairn language, a vibrant Creole weaving together 18th century English and Tahitian, emerged as a vibrant emblem of this culture. Central to Pitcairn's beliefs was a commitment to communal living and mutual aid. Islanders pooled resources, working side by side in tending to crops and made collective decisions through community gatherings. This approach to life stood in stark contrast to the rigid hierarchy of the British Navy from which the mutineers had rebelled. Pitcairn is part of an archipelago encompassing Henderson, Ducey and Ohino Islands. Pitcairn spans a mere 2 square miles or 3.2 square kilometers securing its status as one of the world's smallest national jurisdiction. Yet, beneath its diminutive exterior, lies a realm teeming with natural splendor and ecological marvels. Pitcairn stands as the sole inhabited sanctuary amidst a cluster of isles, distinguished by its rugged terrain, towering cliffs and verdant foliage. Shaped by volcanic forces, the island's rippling landscape and fertile soil bear testament to its fiery origins. This rugged topography has profoundly shaped the lives of its inhabitants, who've mastered the art of adaptation to both its trials and treasures. Nestled nearly equally between New Zealand and Peru, Pitcairn emerges as one of the planet's most remote human outposts. The nearest inhabited land, Mangareva in the Gambia Islands lies a daunting 300 miles or almost 483 kilometers away. This isolation has shaped the demographics and culture of Pitcairn in profound ways. Without an airport and primarily accessed via sea, the island's seclusion presents a paradox of blessings and burdens. As the 21st century dawned, Pitcairn's population dwindled to around 50 souls a stark descent from its peak of over 200 in the mid-20th century. This close-knit community, predominantly made up of the descendants of the Bounty Mutineers and their Tahitian companions. The demographic composition is intriguing, yet, amidst its splendor, Pitcairn grapples with pressing concerns. One of the biggest issues this island is facing is an aging population and the exodus of its youth. Many island-born youths leave in pursuit of education and livelihoods abroad, tilting the demographic scales precariously. This trend sparks concerns regarding Pitcairn's enduring vitality and resilience. Despite its modest population, Pitcairn fosters a close-knit community where every face is familiar. Adamstown, the capital and sole settlement, it is named after John Adams, perched atop a plateau Adamstown unveils breathtaking vistas of the endless ocean, its quaint streets steeped in the island's storied past, from the vigilant watch of the Bounty Cannon to the hallowed resting place of John Adams himself. Life unfolds on Pitcairn as a nostalgic homage to simpler times. The community thrives on self-reliance, casting nets into the deep depths, tending to verdant gardens and collecting rainwater for sustenance. Among their meager exports, Pitcairn's renowned honey stands as a beacon of purity. Their diet, a symphony of locally cultivated produce and fresh seafood, pays homage to the abundant gifts of land and sea. Operating under the mantle of a British overseas territory, initially, Pitcairn Island had its own local administration, led by Pitcairnese mayors. However, as of 2023, the current mayor is Simon Young, a British native and the first non-Pitcairner to hold the position. Despite this change, the island continues to maintain its own island council. This council oversees various aspects of Pitcairn's affairs, including resource management and diplomatic relations. 
Island Council meetings serve as democratic forums where community members come together to discuss and make decisions, reflecting the egalitarian values that underpin life on the island. Education unfolds as another chapter shaped by Pitcairn's diversity. With just one school nurturing a handful of eager minds, the island's children embark on a journey of learning. As they mature, many venture beyond Pitcairn's shores, often to New Zealand, to further their studies. This educational journey is a rite of passage for many young Pitcairners, marking their transition into the wider world beyond their secluded haven. Pitcairn has earned renown for its masterful handicrafts, from intricately carved wooden treasures to meticulously woven baskets, often exchanged with visiting ships or traded online. These artisanal creations not only provide a source of income, but also serve as vessels for preserving and venerating their cultural heritage. The sense of community is strong on Pitcairn. Meals are often community events, with large gatherings where stories and news are shared. These gatherings reinforce the bonds that hold the community together, fostering a spirit of mutual support and cooperation. Over the years, avenues of communication with the outside world have undergone a dramatic transformation. Equipped with satellite internet, Pitcairn now enjoys a vital conduit to the global community. This connectivity serves as a lifeline, facilitating not only communication and commerce, but also crucial links to emergency services and healthcare. Healthcare on Pitcairn, although basic, still works well. There's a committed health officer and a well-run clinic on the island that handle everyday medical issues effectively. However, if someone faces a serious illness, they have to be taken to New Zealand for treatment highlighting the ongoing difficulties caused by Pitcairn's isolated location. Religion plays a central role in the lives of Pitcairn residents, with most following Seventh-day Adventism, a belief system that became prevalent on the island in the late 19th century. This religious faith influences various aspects of everyday life, guiding dietary decisions to align with the Adventist vegetarian practices. Saturdays hold special significance as the Adventist Sabbath, observed as a sacred time for rest and religious observance on the Pitcairn calendar. Pitcairn Island's fragile ecosystem is a symbol of vulnerability. The looming threat of climate change poses significant challenges, with increasing sea levels and unpredictable weather patterns jeopardizing the island's delicate ecosystem. Despite sincere efforts in conservation aimed at protecting its distinctive plant and animal life, limited resources and outside assistance make these endeavors an immense challenge. However, despite these challenges, Pitcairn Island has seen its share of successes, showcasing the resilience and flexibility of its people. One of its most notable achievements is the creation of one of the world's largest marine protected areas around the island. This extensive sanctuary acts as a protective barrier, preserving the abundant marine life within its boundaries and serving as an inspiration for global conservation efforts. The Pitcairn Island Museum stands as a stronghold housing artifacts and stories that intricately illustrate the island's history and values. Tourism also holds significant potential, serving both to boost the island's economy and protect its ecological and cultural assets. With its untouched scenery, diverse ecosystems and fascinating history, Pitcairn attracts adventurous travelers in search of genuine, less-traveled experiences. Efforts are being made to develop sustainable tourism infrastructure, carefully balancing the appeal to visitors with the need for environmental conservation and supporting economic growth for the local community. Some tourists might even travel to Pitcairn because of its popular stories. The fascinating tale of the bounty has inspired numerous literary and cinematic interpretations, exploring its intricate narrative from various perspectives. Among these, the novel Mutiny on the Bounty by Charles Nordhoff and James Norman Hall stands out. On the silver screen, the bounty saga has been immortalized through cinematic adaptations that have left lasting impressions on popular culture. From the classic 1935 film starring Charles Lawton and Clark Gable, 
to Marlon Brando's iconic portrayal in the 1962 version and the nuanced performances by Mel Gibson and Anthony Hopkins in The Bounty, 1984. These movies have captured the drama and intrigue of the mutiny, ensuring its enduring appeal across generations. However, Beneath the allure of these cinematic interpretations lies a cautionary note. They often romanticize the mutineers' escape and their subsequent life on Pitcairn Island. While providing tantalizing glimpses into the island's history, they risk overshadowing the nuanced realities of its contemporary challenges and successes. Beyond popular culture, Pitcairn Island holds a unique place in the global context. It is a living example of how historical events shape communities in profound ways. But as the island navigates the currents of change, it holds onto a vision of sustainable development, connectivity and cooperation. With a resilient spirit and a commitment to preserving its unique identity, Pitcairn Island stands poised to write the next chapter of its storied history. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, keep exploring.